My name is Carl Wilson. I am uh, a reporter with the News and Record, and I have here with me today uh, Doc Rama, and he is a Montagnard refugee who came to this country in 1986, and he performs traditional music from his country. Uh, you're a singer, and you perform on traditional instruments, correct? Yes. Um, and in 1996, uh, uh, you won an award, the National Heritage Association Award? Yeah. Yeah. I, I was rewarded uh, by, uh, we call it, um, National Reward. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Okay. In Raleigh. In 1996. Okay. Yeah. Now, um, tell us a little bit about your background with the type of music that you perform. I understand it's a very ancient music. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank uh, American people, welcome Montana people to be in America. And the second one, we are. I'm very happy and uh, very proud to be here and to be interviewed too. So about my background, I am Montagnard from Vietnam. I belong to Thai tribe because uh, in Vietnam we have uh, at least five main tribes. We have Thai, Rade, Koho, Nong, Bana. So I'm Thai. So uh, I did, about my background, I did go to school, I finished, uh, I even went to college too and I graduated uh, we call uh, Inst Institute of Administration uh, in Vietnam. So, um, as you just told, me, uh, you just said, I got here in 1986. A 86. Yeah. And, I, and I understand that your journey to get here was very long and very hard. Yeah. If I may say briefly or long, a little bit long about my journey, first of all, um, I was ex sub Vietnam government, uh, ex sub, uh, we call government official of South ex Vietnam. So when uh, the South Vietnam was fallen, the communists took over the South Vietnam, we were government official, we were all put in jail. I was in jail for three years and a half. half. After being in jail, we escaped uh, four people, include me, and for, and for, un, uh, unfortunately, Two were killed, and one was recaptured, put in jail, and just me survive. So when I fled to the jungle, I stay in jungle with uh, my friend in the jungle about nine years. So at the end, we got to America. No, nine years? Yeah. It's a very long time. Yeah. But then you managed to make it to Cambodia, correct? Yeah. So uh, after uh, getting out of, from the jungle, we met first of all the uh, Thai government at some district, Nam Yun, and, um, and we, they took us to a uh, refugee center we call it Site 2. And we were over there, I, am, I was over there nine months, and uh, they sent us to uh, Philippines. And I was Philippine about almost six months, and uh, we uh, sent directly to uh, America, and we, live, we land to uh, here, uh, Los Angeles or Cali oh, San Francisco, I don't know, that time, yeah. And we got here in 1986. 1986, yeah. in Greensboro. Yeah. But your family did not come with you, correct? No, because I escaped from Vietnam, so my family could not come with me until I got here in 1994. Um, I, I sponsored my family uh, to be family. here. Yeah. And, then, and then they came and joined you here? Yes, they came, they got here in 1994. And, and they've been here ever since? Yeah. I have four children and wife. 
that he is an adult. Oh, no. Now, when you came to this country, you brought with you an art form, uh, singing and performing instruments. Yeah. And that's, that's what you, 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 you were a singer, right? Yeah. You know, uh, even when I was young, I mean, a child in Vietnam, I liked to be uh, a music singer. I want to play music, even I, I'm not sport, I, I don't have a talent with the music. I like, so when I saw someone play, I said, uh, uh, I imitate to do, to play, but unfortunately I play some. So when we were in the uh, Philippines, <laughs> when we were in Philippines, I saw some bamboo over there. Okay. So I cut bamboo over there, and I tried to make a xylophone, bamboo xylophone. Mm -hmm. So I, that time I was afraid, I said, maybe in America we don't have bamboo. So I bring my xylophone from Philippines. When I got here, I said, oh, a lot of uh, bamboo here, small, big, so now when I do my uh, uh, musical uh, instrument, I try to do with uh, this bamboo here too. And uh, because uh, uh, traditional music, uh, music uh, musical music, we usually do with the bamboo more than the others. Yeah, we cannot do with the wood, yeah. So you weren't able to take any instruments out of Vietnam, you made no, them no. all once I you got there. No, no, I escaped from jail. I cannot <laughs> take, <laughs> take instruments. I couldn't take anything, uh, even uh, my certificate, on uh, my diploma, everything lost in, in Vietnam. I just escaped from jail with, uh, uh, no, with nothing. Yeah. So you make your instruments after you left, after yeah, you got to in, the Yeah, in, in Philippines and here. Can you talk about these instruments? What kind of instruments are they? You know, uh, the first of all, uh, in Vietnam, we usually live with the farmer. And uh, in farmer, we usually have a trung, mm -hmm. bamboo. Bamboo. Uh, bamboo telephone. Bamboo we, I, I did, I make it uh, with the bamboo. And uh, beside the uh, trung, I still have one uh, tube. We call um, one tube fruit. One flute with balcony or bro, I don't bring with me. I play a little a bit. A bro, bro, balcony, and we still have two ding nam, six five flute ding nam. Maybe you may see tomorrow. I I don't play. My friend play Your tomorrow. Your friend plays. Uh, There's a picture of you here with an uh, instrument. This, this what? gong, this gong. gong, gong. We call maybe we uh, imitate okay. friends work because the gong. Uh -huh. Thank Gong, thank Gong, the friends say. So when we met this one before in my ancestors, they tried to say Gong, Gong, this Gong. Uh, and I have Trung, you will see, maybe you already saw, uh, you will see Trung with completely bamboo. With made from bamboo? Yeah, bamboo, it's yeah. Sort of like a xylophone? No? Xylophone, yeah, we call bamboo xylophone. Uh, then we call them bamboo xylophone. And how long have you been playing these instruments? I play, uh, you know, when I got here, I think, uh, I said this one not necessary, really, very un un uncivilized, undeveloped uh, uh, instrument. So if, when someone know, mostly uh, Mr. Wen from Raleigh, he's director of, um, I don't know, culture, music culture. Yes. He went to my house. Okay. He asked me, I said, what do, why you want to ask me this? Just simple thing. It's not necessary. It's not good. Very really humble. He said, no, we never seen uh, this uh, instrument uh, like this. And uh, so th he, can, he went back and forth to my house and uh, at the end, say, reward me. She said, uh, the first Asian people uh, have been rewarded uh, with this instrument. And uh, we call it traditional music like this. And so I was reward 1996. Uh, and you also sing, correct? Yeah, I usually sing. Yeah, I, sing. I even compose a Montagnard song too. Music. music too. Now I understand that some of these songs, they're not always the same. That you you change the song each time you sing it, depending on uh, the occasion. Uh, Usually, of course, when we compose, or we uh, the song almost the same, uh, the same. 
depend depend uh, what kind of song we can uh, uh, event which one which way it will be better like uh, when I compose the song here I have the song homesick because uh, even I already got US citizen here I'm American here sometimes I still remember or remiss my country so I usually compose a song we call homesick Homesick, uh, we, uh, homesick, homesick song. Uh, homesick. Uh, we remember the place we were born, the place uh, we went to uh, school, or we could cultivate uh, uh, like a uh, paddy or corn. Everything we I, I usually do uh, um, uh, make compose that song, and of course I still have uh, uh, the second one. What I just told you. We were like a resistant forces. Resistant so, forces. So uh, I usually uh, make a, like a not political uh, song, but related with the uh, fight. Uh, sorry, I, uh, it's okay. my wife called me. Uh, with uh, Fran, when we were in jungle, I composed uh, the song different. When I was in Vietnam, different song. When I got here, different song too. Different songs. Yeah. Different songs here than the songs that you composed when yeah, you were in Vietnam. Yeah, 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 Vietnam. What kind of songs um, do you compose now that you live here? Uh, I advise, I appeal, I mean, uh, like appeal song. I remind or I ask Montagnard people how to remember or all people or all. Uh, uh, country, mostly or highland. <laughs> yeah, have to remember. We are here. We don't have any problem. We don't have any problem. But in Vietnam, all people they don't have a rice to eat. They don't have food to eat. They don't have a land to cultivate, and they don't have enough freedom. And they they, they cannot worship uh, easily. I usually uh, do compose that the song like that. Do any of these songs that you perform, do they, um, do they tell stories uh, about your homeland for the people here, for your family who did not grow up in Vietnam? Yes, yeah, sometimes not really, uh, just uh, some piece I did uh, have, I do have, yeah, yeah, depend, yeah. Are the younger generations learning to sing these songs and perform these instruments? I don't think so. Maybe I hope in Vietnam, because uh, we still have uh, like a country, even we don't really have a country, but we have people, Montagnard people, they still song, and they still sing, and they still compose Montagnard song uh, that they try to do, try to keep to preserve, but here, when someone asks me, do you have some uh, children or, uh, to learn or to know your culture or your song? I said, no. Why you don't teach them? I said, I try to teach them. They are not interested. Uh, they try to, to live uh, with the new culture, with the new uh, city, I mean, uh, life here. They don't have time to learn uh, or to preserve Montagnar culture or Montagnar traditional music. They don't. They don't what I see, they don't, under, they don't need here. But in Vietnam, of course, we still have a they lot of people. Still learn, yeah, yeah, still yeah. learn the songs yeah, in Vietnam. Yeah, yeah. So the tradition there in the in the villages, it, it continues as it had always has. Some, mostly a song they still have. But uh, for the uh, we call custom like uh, mostly right now we are almost um, Christian. We don't keep. Uh, very old uh, custom. So some we abolish, we don't keep anymore. So but what the song they still uh, perform and they still compose the uh, uh, Montagnard um, song. Yeah. Okay. Um, for now, when will you be performing next here at the, at the festival? Are you, are you performing today or tomorrow? Uh, tomorrow I will perform here only uh, through and only with gong. Um, they, they, they said only maybe five or six minutes, and I have another friend. He play uh, six foot five. He tried to show uh, 
I only play uh, tomorrow two items. Okay. Yeah. Tomorrow. Yeah. Is um, this is not your first time performing at this festival, is it? No, many times already. Many times. Mostly, um, I have been to another state at least. If I cannot say uh, 25 states, or sorry, I might say about 20 states. I already been, been uh, I already went to those states to present my culture and my song too. Okay. Yeah. And you also tour um, and do exhibit, uh, you do performances at, at schools? Yes, yeah, sometimes. At school with students, they mostly in uh, Greensboro, they usually, before, mostly before, Right now, uh, not really. No many people call me or ask me to play anymore. Yeah. Okay. Mostly I'm old sometimes. Uh, I said, not necessary. I'm already old. I, I cannot go. Sometimes they ask me. Sometimes I'm, I'm ready to go. Yeah. OK, well, we look forward to your performance here at the uh, National Folk Festival. Is, are there any questions from anybody? Uh, about Mr. Rama's instruments or his music or his culture? Can, can I just add something sure. to what he was saying? So uh, my name is Liana and I am with the Monsignor American Organization. As he was saying that, you know, a lot of the elderly know how to play all this instrument and all these songs and that a lot of the young people, a lot of the young generation, we don't know it. So that's where we came in. Our mission is to promote education and culture preservation. So we are, as soon in the future, we are going to get our elderly to teach us all this, um, you know, this old traditional music either the music or um, weaving or all the tradition and stuff because we feel that it is kind of disappearing and I totally understand where he's coming from and that's what we felt and that's why we come up with the organization. We're trying to get more young people involved and hopefully we want to pass it down to the next generation and, event and hopefully it will carry on once um, you know, once they're gone, and they'll keep it, that will stay with us. So that's one of the main goals. So, but I, that I just wanted to add that to his story. Thank you for her uh, explanation or adding. Uh, and and I, not just um, Vietnamese folks. So you're teaching these songs and these instruments to other people as well, or other children. I don't know Vietnamese here. Um, they may teach. I don't have. Uh, I don't see the school. Um, but in California, we have a lot of Vietnamese, not Montagnard. They have the culture, they have uh, their uh, center, uh, Vietnamese center. They, they still keep, they still do even books, everything uh, at Montagnard. You know, I'm sorry to say, when I first came here, someone are interested about Montagnard culture, and I said, oh, I'm, ha I'm very happy if you may provide a grant uh, for, uh, to, to, for me, I try to preserve my culture. And they said, maybe, yes, yes, at the end, not, no one try to help us. So I cannot do without uh, money or something, without help from someone. So uh, we try to keep our culture, but try to preserve, but uh, try to tip the, the young. But it's not easy if we just ask them, oh, come here, I teach you. They said, I don't have time, I'm not interested. So uh, at the end, we, we, we sur uh, surrender what we want to do. Yeah. Well, we certainly appreciate you taking the time to come and be with us today and talk with me. And um, we appreciate you performing at the festival for us. Thank you. Welcome, yeah, welcome you, you. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you very much, too. Uh,